गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ वी बिल्ड्स एंड इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन वी ऐड पावर टू अ पेपर प्लेन आई विल बी शेयरिंग टू स्पेशल टाइप्स ऑफ प्लेन वन इज एम्पीरियन वन एंड द अदर वन इज वेलक्री paper planes are ready but they are just simplest form of gliders now a glider is any aircraft which doesn't have a, a, the power of its own so the big gliders that we see uh, that we know of they usually use tug ropes and two planes to to uh, pull them in the air and once they are in the air there are a lot of uh, other weather phenomena which they used to stay up in the air like there is a hot air updraft and then there is rising air up a hill slope and these kind of phenomena they use and again to get down it's just that they have to lose all their energy and that helps them to land so basically in real planes as well no matter how big or how small if we lose our engines or if we turn off the engines they are also a form of gliders uh, they will not suddenly drop out of the sky they will keep gliding but that's not the case with the helicopters obviously so yeah eventually when the plane loses all of its energy it comes down and that's how if you find a good surface you can land it or you crash but obviously to fly we need power as well i am going to power them using an electric motor and see if they can survive a little longer in the air plane back i'll be using this uh, small motor so this is mounted on this uh, stick and then it is connected to this capacitor at the other, other end this is basically to balance the weight this will be going the front and this is uh, this will go in the back it is a really tiny motor but it is capable of driving the paper plane because it's they are not so heavy as well but yeah only the motor cannot provide the thrust right so for the thrust we need a propeller and right here is the propeller so this propeller i am just going to connect it to our motor there you go the propeller is connected for supplying power to it we use this this is just a box and it has slots for three aa batteries so let's put them in so it just basically completes the circuit and put it to these two terminals so when we touch these two terminals to the <coughs> capacitor it will charge it and our motor can run for some time so let's these two terminals right here these are connected to the capacitor when we connect it to the right polarity to this terminal it is going to power our motor i'll just show you a quick one oh, okay you see the motor is running because we just supplied power to this i'll call this the power train connecting it to the planes is very simple you have this clip over here which we can just push it in the nose of the plane like something like yep something like that let me try to power it up and we'll see if this motor is capable enough to drive this plane listen to it rev don't know about driving it but it is for sure capable of flipping the plane 
now we are at the test site and starting with the Valkyrie. Looks like the pain plane is too big. I'll have to cut it short. Okay. <laughs> Round one without power, let's see how it performs. The plane is a bit nose heavy, so it's just diving down. So let me just cut elevators to it. And yeah, it seems to be the perfect time to explain uh, what elevators are and how they work. Basically, elevators are flight control surfaces uh, usually located at the rear of an airplane which controls the pitch of the plane. So how they do it is by moving up or down. So when the elevators move up, they spoil the airflow over the vertical stabilizer and move the center of pressure backwards from the center of gravity this is too, getting too complex let me just tell you so in layman terms they push the tail of the plane down and obviously if the tail goes down the nose of the plane comes up and that's why the, uh, that's how the plane pitches up and the other way when the elevators move down uh, they just work like the wings of the plane and they generate a lot of lift and that's how the tail of the plane goes up and vis a vis the nose of the plane goes down and the plane pitches down so that's how the elevator works so same goes for this paper plane we are creating these two elevators which will prevent it from going into a nose dive <laughs> Saw that elevator made a huge difference. Now we increase the range by adding power to it. And fingers crossed. Let's see. Here for the sound of the motor. So I charge it unless unless the speed is stabilized. <laughs> Empyrean one, I have a lot of hopes in you. Okay, first flight without power. I'm never gonna drop it, gonna take it. Time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, was fun as expected with the propeller our paper plane flew a bit uh, longer stayed in air for a longer time uh, but the thing is it is quite impossible to balance the center of gravity of the paper plane so that's how you need some kind of control to you know turn it or for the pitch so that uh, it's to keep it in the air basically because if you don't have any controls Eventually, the plane is going to turn a bit and then it is going to spiral down exactly like what it was doing in our video. But yeah, it performed good and I enjoyed it a lot. See you next time. Bye bye. If you like this video, please consider subscribing.